Do you know what makes a good data collection form? Data collection forms can be a great way to properly analyze your data, but there are some best practices you should follow when you set out to create your digital data collection form. In today's video, we'll discuss the benefits of digital data collection forms, what you should include in yours, as well as a few tips to keep in mind along the way. I'm Sissy from Jotform. Let's begin. Using a formal method, like a data collection form, is the best way to properly analyze your data. Forms like these allow teams to collect standard information and organizers to maintain control when collecting data both online and in the fields. There are several major benefits to using digital data collection forms, especially when it comes to understanding your data and ensuring that it's reliable. A few of these benefits are, first, they offer consistency. Digital data collection forms present the same questions to anyone visiting your site, meaning that the questions aren't biased and that the data cannot be skewed. The questions will guide the participant to answer based on your needs, and you can mark important fields to streamline the process. Digital data collection forms are easy to analyze. For analyzing business metrics and quantifying your data, you will need standardization. Data collection forms ensure consistency, which means you won't have to worry about straightening out data, saving you valuable decision-making time. And digital data collection forms are accessible. Gathering data online can occur instantly and through a cloud-based system. You can sync information as soon as it's been collected. This enables you to remain efficient and to immediately react to information rather than waiting to gather it manually. Now that we've looked at the benefits of digital data collection forms, let's talk about what you should include in your forms. When designing digital data collection forms, following a few best practices can save time for everyone on your team and ensure that your data is both accurate and reliable. Here's five best practices you should follow along the way. First, think digitally. If you had paper forms in the past, you may be tempted to create an exact replica for your online form. But don't let this thinking limit you, as online data collection forms can be much more versatile. For example, with digital forms, you have the ability to separate your questions into clearly titled sections and to provide further context. You could also create a seamless layout, allowing users to scroll up and down the page. Remember, your form should operate seamlessly across web and mobile interfaces. And if you're still using paper forms as well, make sure they match your online forms. You should also be sure to use conditional formatting or skip logic. This will enhance the usability of your digital forms as an answer to one question may render another question irrelevant. So design your form to either reveal or hide questions based on previous responses by utilizing skip logic. Another best practice is to include sections that truly count. Your section should focus on the type of data you're looking to collect, as well as the overall goals of your organization. If you're not sure where to start, consider these tips. Determine what logistical information you need, like age, address, and anything else you need to know about your respondents. Consider how you will divide your questions. Utilizing categories or subsections will make your form more organized and easier to complete. And don't ask too much only include what's necessary for your data collection goals. Further, it's best to automate responses whenever possible. Populating the information you already know can save a lot of time. For instance, if someone has an account in your system, you can easily fill in their name. Also, the date and time can be easily added when the form is saved. You can also save the user's location through GPS when working with mobile forms. Our last best practice is to be mindful of length as shorter is generally better. Be sure not to include too many questions. Review your form and all of its sections and questions to determine if they're all truly necessary. Consider if the information gained will actually guide your decision-making. Delete any questions that don't directly contribute to the overall goals. If the form is too long, you will run the risk of participants deciding not to complete it. Before we wrap up, let's do a quick recap. 
Using a formal method like a digital data collection form is the best way to analyze your data as it allows you to react to real-time information instead of waiting to gather it manually. There are several benefits to digital data collection forms like consistency, ease of analysis, and accessibility. When crafting your form, you should remember to think digitally, use skip logic, include sections that count, automate responses, and keep it short. Again, I'm Sissy from JotForm, and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.